just the data integrity is is a huge piece of the puzzle too. You know, just someone not wearing their you know their whoop correctly or their garment correctly, they're going to get a bad signal. Therefore, they're going to have bad data. I mean, it, it's a lot for a practitioner to unpack, frankly. Um, so there there are a lot of variables. You know, so I think it's easy to oversimplify um, and and kind of not recognize the the challenges. But but that's that's our job to solve, right? You know, to Tracy's point, I mean, we're all in this because we want to improve patient outcomes. We want to help people come to the table and be, you know, less reactive and, and really take control of their health. And, you know, it's, it's worth figuring out. Mm -hmm. And it's not to spoon feed them data, but it's also to help analyze it beforehand. So it makes it easier for them. They don't have hours to sit there and analyze the data. They need a yep. three second rule to be able to look at something and go, okay. Yep. And, and understanding, you know, what, what are the, what are the core things that we need to track, right? Like if, if your doctor, you know, heart variability, right? Like that's the, 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 the best estimator of physical and mental wellness, right? If, if, and doctors don't even know what heart variability is. Like if you ask them, like I'm in a room full of cardiologists, they have no idea what it is. And it's the most important estimator of, of wellness. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's I think under, getting the data integrity right. And then, you know, just settling on a standard of what are the, the markers that we actually need to track that um, can really, you know, help guide interventions, right? And, and improve patient outcome.